Hello everyone, this is Zephyr here, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World Iceborne on PC. We are out in the Guiding Lands. Uh, we're actually going to start by hunting a monster that is not going to move us towards our goal, though I do still have the Guiding Lands uh, fixed on region level, so it won't affect anything. But we haven't fought a Bobro yet, and we actually need some of its parts. Um, so I figured now would be a good time to go and hunt one and uh, get some of those parts we need. It's not tempered or anything, so it shouldn't be anything too complicated. Well, I guess I should probably drink my drink here. Then after that, hopefully we can find some things to hunt that we haven't hunted before. Uh, for the rotted region and go do that and if not we might just hunt some things we've never hunted before in the guiding lands and then I'll do the rotted region after but I do need to get it up and I, I don't know what all we have and have not fought in the rotted region so Oh, that's annoying that it was going off on the rock so it caused that weird metallic noise. Oi. Oi. Wait, did it just go circle all the way around? It did. What a dick. Why? Why do that? Come on, hit the... Ah, oh, I should have turned it one more time. I thought it would have gone, but oh well. I done forked that. Oh, I forgot to put Geologist on my weapon. Oh, I knew I forgot something. That sucks. Oh well. Oh well, not much I can do about it now. Ooh. Ah, yes, that ancient great horn we needed. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, I think I forgot to mention this uh, in the last video. So one of the other changes we have is that uh, we can augment... Oof. Uh, weapons an extra level now. The uh, addition of the um, Tundra region in the Guiding Lands adds an extra level. So... Uh, Rarity 12 weapons can now be augmented three times instead of just two. Uh, or I should say increase the augment slots two times instead of just... Or three times instead of just two. I'll show that after we're done here. What I'm talking about. Oof. No, give me your material, not... Bones, thank you. Oh, you're not enraged anymore, nice.
Much upset. Was there only the one item? I thought there was more. But we'll have dropped more. Oh, I knew it. Okay, another ancient great horn. Fell down again, apparently. That's nice. Oh, shoot. Like we missed any materials, so that's good. That did not fully sharpen my weapon, apparently. And the Bombro is down. So we've now fought a Bombro in the Guiding Lands, so that's a good addition. Alright, so just picking up some good old uh, material there. There's another one somewhere. Where's the shiny? Is it over by the tail? No. There's multiple apparently. Where are they? Oh, I see them. They're over there. Okay. Man, even with the addition of the uh, sparkles above, I still somehow can never see the material. Wow, there's so much material, and I don't know where any of it is. There we go. Okay, it's over here. Thank you. Alright, we'll quickly grab some uh, bones and ore if we see any, and then we'll... Uh, actually head back to town because I need to add geologists to my set. Cool. I'm glad we got lots of ancient great horns because that's kind of what we need. Didn't really need the bones. Mm, not seeing anything. That stinks. Okay, well that's fine. Let's head back. Okay, normal materials. Nothing really special there. Master rank went up a level, so that's nice.
Okay. So let me show you what I was talking about. Go augment. And let's just look at the decibel bolt breaker. So you'll now see before uh, when you looked at level, there was one box filled because the first level is always filled. And there were only two more boxes, so you could get to a total of five affinity or affinity five augment slots. Now we can get to six augment slots. So what that means is we can do affinity increase, health regen, and element status effect up. It also means that if you wanted to, you could do health regen two because each level takes three. So you can now get high enough to get health regen 2 however then you can't have affinity increase um it also means that you could have affinity increase 3 if you wanted to get 20 percent affinity but that's not very efficient doesn't make a lot of sense you could also get attack increase 2 now on a rarity 12 weapon so there's a lot more flexibility honestly what i'm probably going to go for is um affinity increase 1 health regen 1 and then elemental status effect up 1 on all my rarity 12s because that just makes the most sense um, on lower rarity weapons, so say a rarity 10, we also get more uh, increases. However, you get two increase or two slots per increase on rarity 10s, which means that this can now get to a total of two, four, six on top of the already five. So that's 11 spots. That's insanely good. Like, why? Why are there so many spots? You can put so many uh, augments into this weapon. The problem is its inherent base stats aren't that great, so that kind of kills it a little bit. But still, you get a, you can have so many bonuses on rarity 10 weapons. Now, rarity 11 weapons, I think these also only get one slot per. Yeah, so these are only going to get to 7 instead of 6. So... Rarity 12 get 6, Rarity 11 get 7, and I guess Rarity 10 get 11 slots. They get 4 more than Rarity 11 and 5 more than Rarity 12, which I think is crazy. Now, it's possible that you only get 2 slots from the first one, and then it'll only give us 1 for the other 2, but I, I don't know. Or it could go 2-2-1. Two, two, Who knows? Um, but just by looking at the bar, it looks like you could go 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Not sure. However, the reason we wanted Bomb Barrel Materials was to give this its uh, continued raw upgrade. Because as we mentioned before, um, raw is the best custom upgrade. Um, because it's uh, one true raw. Which one true raw beats out one true element and one affinity. So, we'll go ahead and go with the raw. I You could make an argument for the element if the element on the weapon is high enough, but I, I would always argue that the best custom mod is raw attack power. Maybe status could be useful to go with the um, the element, but affinity is never useful because the affinity, 1% affinity will never beat out uh, one true raw. So uh, let's go ahead and do the Bombro mod. Uh, it'll use up five of our ancient great horns. Yeah, so we've got plenty of this stuff. So let's do it. Okay, next it needs Anjanath parts, which we have, but we need Forest Crystals, which we don't have. And that'll get us our next uh, level of raw, so that'll have to wait for now, which is fine. Um, but that's cool, we got a bit farther on that. Alright, so let's see what is out in the Guiding Lands right now. Nothing useful. So what we'll do is we'll go out there and uh, check and see if we have any um, good uh, we'll check and see if we have any good um, lures. That's the word I was trying to think of. Lures. We'll go out and see if we have any good lures. And I'm remembering to put Geology on. I'll go ahead and put it on my Despo Bolt Breaker. Oh, uh, equipment box. On my Despo Bolt Breaker as well, so I don't forget. Once I figure out where my Despo Bolt Breaker is. There it is. 
Wait. I got, oh yeah, I augmented it with affinity. I was gonna say, how did I augment that? Okay, cool. Let's eat, and then we'll go out there and we'll see what we have in the way of lures. Problem is, I don't know. Have we fought? So we fought Tempered Radoban, we fought Tempered Odogaron, fought Tempered Tigrex. Uh, what else? We have fought Tempered Acidic Glavinus. I think we fought all the things that you can fight in the rotten region that are tempered. Let's see, what do we have for rotted region? Okay, a great Gyros, fine. We do have a Radoban. I wanna do something we haven't done. It seems silly to do something that we have. But I don't know that we have anything. Tigrex we've done, Acidic Lavinus we've done. Ebony Odogrone we've even done. Ah, okay. We fought a brute Tigrex. I don't think it'll spawn tempered, though. I think you have to have it probably at 7 to get this thing tempered, if it even has a tempered version. So I don't know that I want to waste that lure. Alright, let's see if we have something else we can lure out that we've not fought before that can maybe help with one of our other regions we want to level up. Um, so let's unfix regions. Alright. It's no tempered Kuliaku, so I know we've done that. How about Baroth? Have we fought a tempered Baroth? We have. We have fought a tempered Baroth. Wonderful. We fought a normal Baroth, too. Um, have we fought tempered Anjanath? No. Maybe we'll do that. Have we fought normal Anjanath? I think we have. We have parts from it. So I don't have it on my list as something that we fought, but we have parts from it. So we must have just kind of collected parts from it when it was fight fighting something else. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead, we're going to fix the regions again, because I don't want it messing with our regions. And we're going to try and fight an Anjanath in the forest region. And then we'll fight a tempered one after that from the Wildspire region. That Paolumu was tempered. Have we fought a tempered Paolumu? We haven't. I probably should have just done that. Oh well. I wasn't thinking. Oh good, it got rid of Rajang. The one thing I wouldn't have wanted here. find that Anjanath. There he is.
He got angry fast. Okay, Puke, you need to go away. I think I've fought one of you. Yes, I have. Okay. Ooh! Give me that shiny. Use all the stuff I can get. Oh, he's not angry? No, he's still angry. That's the Pookie Pookie that's not angry. Materials. Okay. Stop running away. Oh my goodness, he's just going around the tree. What is he doing? Oh, it's because the shield bearer probably used its shield, so it was aggroed to the shield bearer. Makes sense. Oh, you dick! off. All the shinies. down in a moment. Let's uh, grab the tail here. Oh yeah, a great Jagras lure. That's always useful. Why did he go back up? Okay, I was going to say, he just... Doesn't know what he's doing. Ah, yay, another one. Always hits me. Ooh. 
Come on, really? Pickering flame. All right, now he's really angry. If you're locked on, hit. That's fine, I'll take a mount. works. Wow, I dropped a ton of shinies. That's what I was going for. Alright, so that takes care of the normal Anjanath. Hooray! I think we carved the tail, right? Yes, we did. Alright, so that takes care of that. So let's head to this camp. Ooh, you know what? That tempered Paloom was still there. Maybe we should go after that. See if we can go hunt that, because if it sticks around, we might as well. Because we've not fought one. Um, actually, if I'm going to do that, I need to unfix the region levels. Uh, unfix. Yes. Okay. Ooh. But, did it... Shoot, hang on. I don't want to chance anything. Let me do this first. 
And then report investigation. That go. Okay. Now what to fix. All right, now let's go after the Palumo. Temper Palumu, yay. Oh, where are you going? You better not leave the locale. It's leaving, isn't it? Did I seriously come all the way over here and it left? You dick. Well, that was a waste of time. Okay, fair enough. That's really irritating, actually. Can you leave already? Yeah. Well, that sucks. Oh! A Kieran spawned. Well, we haven't fought a Kieran, so I guess we're doing that. What? Why? Just, just freaking why? Seriously, the last thing I want to deal with right now. Go away. Alright. Alright, so I guess we're fighting a Kieran. Not necessarily what I want to do, but um, it spawned and we haven't fought one yet, so. Is this going to be our second Elder Dragon in the Guiding Lands? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Alright, cool. Fair enough. Let's do it. Puke Puke has left the locale. That looks like a pretty big Kieran, too. Oh, come on! It keeps... <sighs> yeah, okay, I haven't fought one of these yet. Oh my goodness, it needs to, like, not just keep running away from me. Oh god. Okay. Okay, I tried to clutch claw it. Oh, for frick's sake. Okay, so now it's enraged and in armor mode. That sucks. Also just realized that I'm low on stamina. Why do I always go the long way around with this?
Okay, got the mounts. So much lightning. Oh crap. Pissed. Oh, that's crap. As that crap is what that is. Oh, come on! Stand still for like half a second. Getting shinies is always the top priority. Alright. Go ahead and gather here. And yes, one of my goals is to get the Coral Highlands to level 7. Um, Coral Highlands, uh, Tundra, and Wildspire Waste are my plans for the level 7 areas. Here and should give us a good boost here. I hope. Okay, you are not what I wanted to fight today, but whatever. I'll take what I can get. Oh, god dang it. things. Ah, oh, crap. That's not where I wanted to go. Ooh! Oh, that is... I timed it wrong. Or I might not have had enough spirit gauge. I don't know. I, I really... I think I... I don't know. I don't know. I think it was because I didn't have enough spirit gauge. I really don't like that uh, nerf to Foresight Slash. I really, really do not enjoy that. Um, using Foresight Slash with no spirit gauge or even low spirit gauge means you just end up not getting your effect. I don't think that the ability was broken before. But now it's just like, it stinks when you're in the heat of the moment you don't notice that your spirit gauge is low and you end up just taking a faint. Blech. It's whatever. It happens. I probably should change my mantle, but 
I'm being lazy, I guess. Not enraged, huh? Then I'm gonna try and smash into a wall. And of course, this wound wore off. God, I really hate you, Kieran. No, what the freaking Why? I just I don't understand why it gets to attack so fast. No. I mean this doesn't help me much because of course You dickbag That's gonna be another faint. Yep. Hate fighting you. Oh my god, why? Jesus Christ. This is why you don't use uh, Rock Steady. Oh my god, why do you get to dodge everything? Oh, for frick's sake. Oh my... No! Come on. Oh, really? The moment I go to freaking attack, it gets staggered out. That's bad timing. I really hate you, Karen. I really do. Fighting Karen's so much fun. I love monsters that just run across the entire battlefield. Doing nothing but making you follow them. You dick. Of course you'd do that at this moment. Ah, of course. Alright, fine. After that stupid unicorn. Wait, where are you going? You stupid. Turn around. You slowed me down instead of speeding me up. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? Stu the Aptanath made me miss my Clutch Claw, and then also made me get hit. And now, I have nowhere to send the Kirin into, because... I, oh, it's so annoying. What I was doing got screwed up. Alright, whatever. I'll do it. It's fine. It's fine, this is fine. I just hate fighting this monster a lot. I hope these stupid horns are useful for something because I'm getting a lot of them. Oh, god dang it.
It's so funny that uh, Rajong will take out a Kirin so easily because I have a much easier time with Rajong than I do with Kirin. Granted, the reason that Rajong has an easy time with Kirin is because it's immune to thunder. Or at least very resistant to it, but I'm pretty certain it's immune. And yes, I know me using an ice weapon is not helping me right now, but whatever. I didn't want to switch weapons. Never does that attack until I clutch on, of course. Come on! <sighs> oh, frick's sake. I hate this monster so much. Oh, God dang it. The one thing that makes it manageable, I can't seem to do. Thank you. I think not. I had more ammo because I could have knocked into a wall again. Oof. Kieran, you have too much health. Dang it. I only argue it has too much health because it's such a pain in the butt for me to fight. Oh, I really don't need the rock steady mantle. It's not helpful. Ah, oh, broke the horn. That's nice. And it got us a Kuliaku lure. Oh, yay. I mean, that'll come in handy for raising the Wild Spire region, but, I mean, it's not a new monster for us at all. Oh, come on. I was hoping I could Foresight Slash, but nope. At least it's weak. Oh, okay, that works.
Oh crap! Really? Oh thank goodness. We're off again, that's annoying. Wounding does not last long enough. Oh, it's dead. Cool. We'll add Kieran to our list of things that we've defeated. Alright, that's basically where we're going to have to end the video, so we'll go ahead and head back. We'll see if we unlocked any new uh, layered armor real quick. But unfortunately, that will be the end of the video. Um, I'm probably going to have to do the Rotten Vale off, or the Rotten Region off camera, just because we fought all the monsters down there already, and unless an Elder Dragon shows up, there's not going to be really anything to show that's new. That did not raise the Coral Region nearly as much as I expected. Let's see what's out there now. Uh, stuff for the Horfra or the Tundra region, but nothing for what we really need. Let's do our research results. We'll check for layered armor, and then we'll probably end the video. I'll try and get the rotted region, I think, up off camera a little bit. Maybe when I have it really close to um, the uh, level 7, I'll stop and record and show you it hitting level 7, but um, getting up towards 7 I should be able to do off camera, because there's, there's nothing for me to show you. It's all going to be the same stuff we've already hunted before. Alright, so let's check layered armor. Just see if we've unlocked anything new. We did! We unlocked Nergigante Alpha, oddly enough. Uh, Dober Beta and Dor Dober Alpha, so that's cool. Doesn't look like anything else. Alright. So that's where we're going to go ahead and end for uh, for today. Um, we're going to be doing Guide and Lands probably a lot more. Uh, the next quite a few videos will probably be Guiding Lands. Um, we might take a break to do some other stuff, but not likely. So uh, those are the plans because we've got a lot to do in the Guiding Lands. And obviously we have a lot of optional quests left, but um, I, just, I really want to get to the point where we have the Guiding Lands where we need it so that we can start augmenting equipment more. But I'm going to end it there, so thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. You can also subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon to get email updates when I upload new videos, and of course you can leave any comments or suggestions in the area below the video. However, that is all I have for you today, so thank you so much for watching, and as usual, this is Zephyr, signing out.